We all have those days where some days were just not approved for public viewing. So I'm not gonna be in the camera, but I wanted you guys to see something I've learned this year. Have you ever gone to um, like a Chinese restaurant and the, got the stir fry or the Mongolian beef or any of those things and it was really nice and tender? Well, I was gonna show you the trick to get it that way. But this is just round steak that I've cut into strips. Uh, round steak's generally a cheaper cut of steak and sometimes it can be a little bit tough. So I'm just gonna put all these pieces in one of my leak-proof glass containers. So I'll move this out of the way. Now what we're gonna do is take not quite a whole teaspoon of uh, baking soda, and we're just gonna sprinkle it over it. And we wanna toss that meat around with it. Make sure all of it gets a little bit on it. Doesn't take much. Now, don't cook it with that on there. I had somebody try this and they thought I meant to add it to the seasoning. No, no, no. You just put the baking soda on the beef or chicken or pork, whatever you want to be extra tender. Cover it. We're going to set a timer and leave it sitting for 30 minutes. Then we're going to rinse it, pat it dry, and it'll be ready for our stir fry. So I've rinsed my beef and it's in the... Uh, colander in the sink, uh, drying out, then I'll pat it dry. But I'm gonna go ahead and get things ready. So I've washed my container that it was in, washed my tongs, washed my knife. So now we're gonna get our pepper ready for the stir fry. Now, if you're gonna keep part of the pepper, leave the seeds attached to the part you're gonna keep. When you do that, it pulls the moisture away from the pan, and therefore it'll keep in the refrigerator a little bit longer. So I'm gonna take these, just so they'll be the right size for my stir fry, I'm gonna cut these in half this way. And then it's our quick slice. And we take the base, and we just put our pepper on here like this. Take the top, make sure it fits inside the square. You don't want it to go outside the square. And then you just Make sure it fits in the square, and then you just rock back and forth and check it out. I've got all those cut. Now, you just have to make sure it fits inside the square. These uh, angled blades help to cut things in one whack. It's not for your hard vegetables like carrots, potatoes, onions. Use this for something with a little bit softer flesh. Peppers are fine. Um, I use it for Gosh, so many things. Zucchini, uh, mushrooms, cheese, strawberries, things like that. And it just makes it quick work. Just throw it all in here. All right. So I have my peppers ready. You know. This uh, little colander is part of the three-piece colander set. That's the smallest you could even buy a set of those and split it, you know, into three gifts. You could fill each of them with like some cup towels or something like that. So we're just gonna put, get as much of the moisture off of it as possible. And then what I'm gonna do, cause I'm gonna throw my peppers and, I mean, yes, my peppers and beef in there at the same time. So I'm going to put them in on top of my peppers here. And then I'm going to put just a little bit of stuff on it. Let them set for a few minutes. So, and I don't just run to the store. Yeah, have you changed that too since COVID and since uh, pandemic and now the prices are up? So I'm just gonna take a little bit of soy sauce, not a lot, just enough to give it some good flavor. Take my tongs and stir that all around. 
Now I'm going to let this sit a little bit longer and then we'll get to cooking. Okay, so I have my pans heating up. Now in the pans, I do have some of our garlic infused canola oil. So the wok is going to be for our stir fry and this is going to be for our fried rice. So the first thing I want to do, of course, is dump that meat and peppers right in here. I do like that sound. Let them get started here. I'm gonna add just a little more ginger. I like this little. And then I'm gonna cover, gonna cover it with our splatter cream. Now in this pan, all I'm gonna do, and we'll kind of have a pretty good popping uh, going on over here, because my oil's pretty hot. I'm just gonna add this bag of cauliflower rice. Get it spread out there. Now I'm gonna just pour it through with the same seasonings over here. So we're going to put a little bit of ginger. I don't add uh, salt because ginger and soy sauce kind of add a lot of flavor. And we're going to get this kind of starting to toast. Toast a little on the burner. Let's check our steak and peppers. It's already smelling good. I want to give that steak plenty of time to start cooking. Now these both do come with a little, so we have the 12 inch wok, the 12 inch skillet, this is the 10 inch skillet, and we have a little bitty skillet too that will be great if you're cooking for one or two people. Now if you want, um, my husband doesn't like English peas or carrots, which goes in fried rice, we, we just skip that part. I don't need them either, so we'll just skip that. Okay. Our beef is starting to cook. We still have a little ways to go. But what I'm going to do now is add my frozen, well, thawed out vegetables. Here's my tender. Here's my soy sauce. Carrots added. That's just not what my husband wants. There you have it. 